Hello everyone and welcome to People Code event series by PeopleSoft channel. In today's episode, we are going to discuss two of the most commonly used People Code events in customizations. These are Field Edit and Field Change. In the previous episode, we discussed the component build events from row select to post build along with page activate event. So if you would like to check that episode, you can go to PeopleSoft channel and access this playlist for PeopleSoft events. In today's episode, we are going to have a discussion about these two events. We will understand their behavior, how they are triggered, and we will see some scenarios in which we can use field edit and field change events to write people code. So without further delay, let us start the discussion. Field edit people code event is triggered when a user make changes to the field values on a PeopleSoft page. So as the name field edit contains the word edit, edit means validation. So if we want to have an additional layer of validation in addition to system edits, in that case, we can write the validation people code in field edit event. So let us understand what are system edits. So system edits are the validations which are provided by PeopleSoft system by default. And for these validations, a PeopleSoft developer do not need to write any people code. Let us see one example. So this is the employee salary page. This is the basic salary and we can see the same page in the application designer. And if we check the record for this page, so this is the salary table. We can see that the basic salary has a data type of number. So if we provide a numeric value, let's say a basic salary is $4,000. And if we click on save, it will allow us to save. On the other hand, let us say by mistake, a user entered one character instead of a number. And if he tried to save it, then he will get a number field format error because only number values is allowed in the basic salary. So this is one example of the system edits. Another example, we can see that the data type of basic salary is number for length 10 and no digit after the decimal place is allowed. So if we try to provide few digits after the decimal place like this, and if we try to save it in that case, again, we will get the field format error. So these are some examples of system edits, which are provided by PeopleSoft system. Now let us say on top of the system edits, we want to write some custom validation logic. For example, the basic salary, the minimum basic salary for an employee should be $5,000. So this is the custom validation logic. So if we want to write this logic for any field, in that case, we can make use of the field edit event. Let us write people code for this small use case where the minimum basic salary should be $5,000. So for any field, the field edit event is available in two different places. One is record field and another is component record field. So let us write the people code for our requirement in the component record field for the basic salary. So let us go to the employee component and let us view the people code for this component. And we will select the field of salary so this is the employee salary table and this is the basic salary field. So we will select the event as field edit and we will write the people code for our validation. So this is the people code for our requirement. So let us save it and let us test the effect of this people code for our salary page. So let us add a new employee, say employee ID 25. Let us fill some basic information. So this is the salary page. And now 
let us try to give a salary less than 5000 so if we give a salary of 4500 and if we try to save it then we can see that we are getting the error that the basic salary must be greater than 5000 usd so this is the additional layer of validation on top of system edits so whenever we have such a requirement then we can write the validation people code using the field edit event when it comes to writing validation logic in field edit event then there are two functions which are most commonly used in the validation logic these are error function and warning function so error function displays an error message to the user and after displaying the message it halts or stops the further execution of the people code on the other hand warning message displays a warning message to the user but it does not stop the further execution of people code like error message in our use case to validate the basic salary we use the error function now let us write a with message below this error function now let us test the effect of this people code on our salary page so if we go to salary we will provide a salary less than 5000 so that the error message will be triggered so let us say we provide the salary as 3000 and if we try to save it then we got the error message as expected but the win message which we had written after the error message is not executed as you can see once the error has been triggered then the execution of the people code which is below or after the error message is eliminated so the system halts the execution of further people code when the error message has been executed on the other hand if we replace the error message with a warning message all right so let us test the effect of this people code so if we go to a salary let us provide a salary less than 5000 let us say 3000 and if we click on save we are getting a warning message that the basic salary should be greater than 5000 but if we click on ok we can see that the next piece of people code which is with message has been executed so this is a key difference between a, an error message and a warning message that error message halts the execution of people code on the other hand warning message just displays a warning but it continues the execution of remaining people code another important thing that we need to consider while writing people code for field edit and field change is that what is the mode of execution whether it is a deferred processing mode or an interactive processing mode let us see with an example so suppose we are trying to add an employee information for a new employee so we are using the same logic that the salary should be greater than 5000 so if we give 3000 as a salary and if we tab out of this field then we did not see any error or warning message however if we click on save button now then we can see the underlying people code logic getting executed this is because as of now the processing mode for basic salary is a deferred processing mode in deferred processing mode all the underlying people code is executed at the time of saving the information this is done in order to reduce the trips to the server and increase the overall performance so suppose if we have a requirement that instead of waiting for save button the underlying validation people code should be executed as soon as we tab out of this field in that case for this specific field we can change the processing mode from deferred to interactive so this is the salary page so if we open this basic salary field 
and if we go to this use tab then we can see by default allow deferred processing is enabled so if we want to make this field as interactive in that case we will untick this option now this particular field will be operating in an interactive mode so let us test the changes we have made so let us say we are trying to add a new employee if we go to salary and let us give a salary less than 5000 now as soon as we tab out of this field we are getting the error as per our expectation this is because now the mode of operation or the mode of processing for this field is interactive so this is one important thing which we need to consider while writing people code for field day the next people code event is field change event so field change event is often used with field edit event for the same field and it is triggered after the field edit event has been completed successfully without any error suppose for a basic salary we have written some business logic in field edit as well as field change event in that case if the logic or people code in field edit has been completed successfully without any error then after that the business logic in the field change event will be executed so when it comes to field change event we write the people code for the business logic which is used to recalculate page field values or change the appearance of the page control based upon the field values or execute some business logic once the field values have been changed and we can use the field change event for a field in two places which is record field and component record field while developing the customizations often we can have a requirement that for any given field first we need to validate the field values and if the field values are as per the criteria only then we need to execute some business logic suppose for example if basic salary is greater than 5000 only then the hra should be calculated so instead of writing all the validation and post validation business logic in the same place it is always a good idea to make use of both the events for this field which is field edit and field change so the idea is that instead of writing all the validation and post validation business logic at the same place for any given field we should separate the logic of validation from the logic of post validation and we should write the validation logic in field edit event and the post validation logic in the field change people code event for the same field so what will happen is after the people code in the field edit has been executed if there is no error then the code in the field change event for the same field will be executed however if there is any error message getting triggered from the field edit in that case the field change code for the same field will not be executed so this is how we can leverage the functionality of field edit and field change by separating the validation and post validation business logic to understand these points let us say that we have a requirement that user should provide the basic salary and based upon the value provided in the basic salary the hra amount should be calculated let us say the hra amount is 40 percent of the basic salary we also have the requirement like we saw in the first example that the minimum basic salary should be 5000 here we have two different piece of logic first is the validation logic that the minimum salary should be 5000 and the second is the logic to calculate the hra so as per this diagram we have already written the validation logic in the field edit event of basic salary so now let us write the logic to calculate hra in the field change event of the basic salary 
So let us open the component and we'll click on view people code. So let us go to basic salary and we have already written the validation logic in field edit. Now we will go to field change of the same field and we will write the logic to calculate the HRA. So this is the people code to calculate HRA, which will be 40% of the basic salary. Let us test the effect of this people code. So if we go to salary page and let us first give a salary less than 5,000. So if we give a salary as 3,500, in that case, we got the error message as expected and the HRA value is not calculated. So now if we provide a salary greater than 5,000, let's say 5,500 and if we tab out, then we can see that the HRA has been calculated. Now this logic has been executed through field change because the field edit event was completed successfully without any error. So this is how we can use field change event to write people code after a validation along with field edit. To summarize the discussion we had so far regarding field edit and field change. So if we have written business logic in field edit and field change of the same field. So this will be the sequence of execution. As soon as the field value has been changed and user has tapped out of that field. First, it will go through system edits. If there are no errors, then it will execute the people code written in field edit. If there are no further errors, then it will move to the next step, which is field change and execute the people code in the field change. However, at any stage, if there are any errors, then the program execution will be halted. For example, if, if there are errors in system edit, then the field edit people code will not be executed. Similarly, if there are errors in field edit, then the people code written in field change will not be executed. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode of people code events. If you found this content helpful, then please like this video. In the next episode of this series, we are going to discuss about row insert and row delete. So if you are interested in the same, then please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.